Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another episode of Answering the Call, the OEMC podcast. I'm joined with Sarah Mathers. We're talking about all things DNC, the Democratic National Convention, and how you can prepare what you need to know. So Sarah, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thank you for having me here. I appreciate it. So tell everybody real quick, what kind of is your role in all of this in the Democratic National Convention? I know a lot of city groups are kind of joining forces. So what do you do? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, working with a bunch of different city departments on our community engagement, which includes public engagement, youth engagement, faith engagement, um, public sector engagement, and businesses. You've played a large part in the canvassing efforts that we've been doing. If you live around the United Center or McCormick Place, you may have seen us out and about handing out flyers. I'm trying to get people ready. So what what does that involve? Well, canvassing is really important because as much as we can put out there in the news, radio, all sorts of things, ads, people actually need a personal touch. Uh, people have concerns, people have questions, and they don't really know how to reach out and to get those things answered. So it's really nice to meet people where they are, which is, you know, interrupting them sometimes at their homes um, <laughs> and showing up and saying, here I am to be a service to you. So uh, canvassing is a really important aspect of any sort of outreach campaign. What's on the flyer that you're handing out? What are the key tips? People are really concerned about how their daily lives are going to be impacted. Um, and we want to minimize that as much as possible. So we've been asking folks about what sort of deliveries they have. Um, do you have regular medical deliveries? Do you have regular food deliveries? Uh, we've got a lot of senior homes that are around the United Center. We've got a lot of businesses around McCormick Place. And so we really want to make sure that we can gather as much of that information as possible so that we can make a plan with them so that their lives are not impacted fully and they don't stop, right? We want to make sure that folks are able to live their lives um, while the convention is going on, taking proper safety precautions, of course, but also um, going about their daily business. So it's not only just giving information, but you guys are taking that information that the, the citizens, their concerns, listening to them, trying to figure out how to work together on a plan. Absolutely. Um, I think some of it is just managing people's concerns and fears around it, they may be actually several blocks away or maybe even a mile away, and they're worried about what how their lives are going to be impacted. And I actually think that just by having that personal touch and having a, a two-line um, communication with folks, it helps to dissuade some of their concerns and fears um, about what this is going to look like. We don't we don't do the DNC every every day. We don't do that one every year. This is a big one for us. Um, but we have so many wonderful agencies that do handle big events all the time that we can help them um, have that conversation with them and then figure out how we can work together on this. Um, it's mainly people that are really really close and tight and uh, near near the locations that we have to like have um, a longer conversation with and figure out how we can help them live their lives and their businesses can prosper still. An event like this is large, it's true. However, we hold large events every single day in this city. You at the OEMC know that better than anyone else. Um, there's going to be about 65,000 people in each of these locations each day, but that's a Cubs game, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's nothing new for Chicago. We're very familiar with large events, especially during the summer. That's right. Exactly. I think the element that is here that is unknown will be the uh, people that are practicing their First Amendment rights and getting out there and um, having their voices heard with actions and protests. And that's something that we are um, trying to work around and figure out where those free speech zones are going to be so that we can also inform the neighbors around there. So what do we, what do people need to know? Like once we get all the plan put together, where can they get that information? How do they know, like, is my commute going to be impacted? Or maybe if they don't live in that canvassing area. We want to get that information out to folks. And we've got a lot of different ways that we do that. You can sign up for text alerts from the DNC. Um, the OEMC has an excellent app that we en highly encourage people to download. That'll give you up to the minute um, information when we're having it, when we're getting that information. There's um, a, the Shy Viz app that is also really helpful. We're trying to attack this in a lot of different angles. So emails, the text messages, the website, and then that personal touch with the canvassing um, with, a, with a piece of lit that people can reference, scan QR codes, um, and get some of that information. Not everything has is tied down yet, but what should people know as we're getting ready for the Democratic National Convention, especially following 
some other big events leading up to it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be quite a month. Uh, there's a lot going on. Um, really starting in the beginning of July with NASCAR and with Lollapalooza and all of those things. Um, but I think the things that, that to know are that this is a really wonderful opportunity for visitors to come into the city, to see the beauty of the city, to get to know the city. We're really excited that the Chicago Public Libraries have um, opened up their uh, collection and, and created an opportunity for those visitors to get to know Chicago a little bit better through a lot of wonderful resources there. We've got a lot of youth programming that's happening so that the youth can talk to each other about what's going on. Um, and get them excited around the convention. This is an opportunity for Chicago. This is a wonderful, uh, a wonderful way to show how democracy works, um, and and a way to showcase our cities. Anything else that you want people to know as we prepare for this? You know, we're we're about two months out. Keep informed. Figure out the way that works best for you. Is it through an app? Is it through a text message? Is it going to the website? Do you like a physical piece of paper? Look out for the information that is coming and don't stress. We're going to handle this together. There's going to be just a, a lot of really wonderful things as well as some things that may impact your day a little bit. So keep in touch, uh, figure out your plan, communicate with us if you need to, and we're going to have a great convention. Awesome. Great. Sarah, thank you so much. Absolutely. And like Sarah said, we're going to have all the links to all those different ways you can get notifications. I'll post them online on our social media and download the app. It's, it's pretty much your best way to get everything all in one spot.